good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got galaxy s10e and this was a highly request to make a video flashing the official pixel os rom on the galaxy s10e now let me inform you that the device that i have is exynos chipset so this rom can be flashed only only on the exynos chipset mobile phone this rom cannot be flashed on the snapdragon devices currently the android 14 is available on pixel os for the galaxy s10e hopefully the android 15 will get released but and uh, this is the last and latest build number that i have flashed on the mobile phone the fingerprint scanner is working perfectly and the face unlocking is also working perfectly rom is coming with the aosp camera which is working fantastic these are the pictures and videos that have been taken from this aosp camera application those who like to have uh, a fast rom on the galaxy s10e those who like to have a custom rom on the mobile phone and those who want to have a good battery life good performance and no bugs no lag then i will suggest to go for this rom yes this is the rom that you will see there is no lagging using it and definitely you are going to like this rom those who does not uh, care about the device certified they can flash the rom the banking application are working perfectly without any prompt but the, the rom is coming device not certified i will go to place two to show that device is not certified now if you want to make the device certified then we have to root the rom and we can install the modules to make the device certified and after rooting the rom yes we can get trouble like opening the banking application the banking application will have issues with the rooted rom battery life is very good and the applications that you can see on my mobile phone straightly downloaded from the play store the play store is working so this is the current control center because the pixel os is just like a stock and white so this is how the control center look like on with the pixel os now i am getting many messages about the flashlight like whenever i flash the aosp rom check the flashlight working or not and also check the brightness of the uh, flashlight yes the brightness of the flashlight is higher and working fantastic in case if you have Galaxy S10e, Exynos chipset mobile phone, you want to try this Pixel operating system on your mobile phone, like you want to change the Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10e from One UI to Pixel OS, then watch the further video how to flash the ROM. In case if you are getting help from my videos, do not forget to like the video. If you are, haven't subscribed my channel yet, to appreciate me, subscribe my channel, click or tap the bell icon, click or tap the select all. Thank you so much. For custom ROM flashing, we need to unlock the bootloader. I have already made two, three videos of the Galaxy S10e and I have showed how to unlock the bootloader. Unlocking of bootloader of the Galaxy mobile phone is very easy. Those who know how to flash the ROM, they will definitely have already an unlock bootloader your mobile phone must be updated to the latest stock firmware once like in case if you are using any custom rom for example like i have a custom rom the official release of the pixel os on my mobile phone but before flashing the pixel os i have updated my mobile phone to the latest stock firmware then i flash the android 14 rom in case if your phone once updated to the last uh, latest stock firmware then you can simply unlock the bootloader and flash the pixel os rom on this mobile phone now you need to check the mobile phone battery must be charged like around 40 50 60 do not flash custom rom if your mobile phone is battery is lower than 30 or 25 percent right you need to save all the internal storage data the uh, flashing of the custom rom will format everything in case if you are using one ui you need to the remove the samsung account in case if you are using it because if the samsung account still there the mobile phone will not get the custom recovery same way you need to sync your google account and then must remove it to avoid any issues later on 
and uh, we have to go to the lock screen and we need to turn off the lock screen by selecting the swipe now you can simply power off the mobile phone the important thing is whatever custom rom you are using doesn't matter but we have to flash the lean age os recovery or the pixel os recovery do not try to flash the pixel os rom with the twrp maybe the, the pixel os rom will get flash with the help of the twrp recovery but definitely you will be facing issues so according to the developer use the provided recovery either pixel os or the lineage os recovery i have provided links in my description and i have provided the pixel os recovery in my video description in case if you are having any custom recovery like twrp P. doesn't matter just follow the steps that i'm going to show these are the files that uh, i have downloaded and links are provided in my video description make a new folder click the links and download the these files we need odin to flash the recovery and we need pixel os the android 14 latest rom and platform tools recovery link also provided and this is like img file image file we need to convert this image file into tar vb meta file also provided and i have converted vb meta dot img already to dot tar right now first of all extract the odin 3.14.1 in same folder then extract the platform tools in same folder then copy the rom file and recovery file from the downloaded folder and open the extracted platform tools folder paste both files over here when done then we need to rename the files that i have just copied first of all select the rom file click on it then press f2 and then rename it by giving the name rom now the file name is supposed to be rom.zip then press enter key now we need to re re rename the recovery file also click on it press f2 just give the name recovery now it is supposed to be re recovery.img press enter key now uh, one more thing that i want to inform that i have uh, provided command in my video description to convert the img file into tar file here are the commands but this one is already done so i'm not going to provide this command in my description i will provide this command like converting recovery.img into recovery.tar simply select the command from the description copy it from there and then come back to the platform tool extracted folder open it right click on the cmd left click on the run as administrator click click yes on next window the command window will get open now simply press ctrl v on the keyboard the command will get paste automatically and the things done now you can minimize is because the command window will get used later on so i will just minimize it and then i will go then to see that i got the recovery.tar file over here so i will cut the file from the the from the platform tools extracted folder the recovery.tar and i will go back to my downloaded folder then i will paste the recovery.tar file in my main downloaded folder now open the extracted folder of the odin double click the odin file to open it click ok on this pop-up window then the odin will get open then click any slot so i will go for the ap i will click ap then i will go straight away to my downloaded folder here uh, here is the downloaded folder for the s10 e pixel os select the recovery.tar file by double clicking on it then click any slot 
and I will go for CP and same thing I will go back to my downloaded folder and I will select the vbmeta.tar file by double clicking on it. I will go to options then I will untick the auto reboot then we'll go back to log coming back towards the mobile phone. Now we need to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode for that mobile phone must be power off and you need to check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer press and hold the volume down key and big speed key you need to check the buttons must be working properly in case if any button is not working the mobile phone will not get boot into or in mode press the volume down key then big speed key and connect the cable with the mobile phone you will see a warning screen release both keys on this warning screen press the volume up key once to boot it into Odin mode so this is my Odin screen of my mobile phone press the volume up key once to light up the screen the kg state must be checking and the FRP lock must be off the OEM lock must be off in a brackets you will see you which means that the bootloader is already unlocked. So the mobile phone is booted into Odin mode and ready to start flashing the recovery. On the computer screen Odin detected the mobile phone already COM4 which means that it is detected. We'll go to options to check auto reboot is or untick yes then go back to lock and then click start to start flushing the files on the mobile phone when you see pass message in a green color which means that things done click reset then click exit and go back to downloaded folder the mobile phone still be booted into Odin mode we need to boot the mobile phone into uh, custom recovery from the Odin mode now here I would like to mention again that the buttons supposed to be work properly if any of the button not working the mobile phone will not get boot right to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery from the Odin screen press and hold the volume up key volume down key big speed key and power key when mobile phone restart release the volume down key first then when you see logo release the power key and just wait one two three four five now wait the pixel os recovery will come on the mobile phone screen first of all tap factory reset then tap format data factory reset format data done go back tap apply update tap apply from adb coming back towards the computer screen i will go to my platform tools extracted folder then i will bring the command window back to my computer screen that was minimized earlier and i will start flashing the rom straight away by giving the command adb space side load space rom.zip press enter key you can see that the file is getting transferred to the mobile phone and it will take a time now so just wait here when flushing done you definitely you will see install completed with status zero we are done from the computer and uh, i forgot to mention that uh, the rom is coming with the google applications there is no need to flash the cap separately when done definitely you will see reboot system now so tap the reboot system now the mobile phone will reboot then disconnect the cable from the mobile phone when you see samsung logo now we have to wait the mobile phone will soon start booting to the pixel os rom First boot completed, complete the setup screen, things done and uh, things went 
very well and very smoothly so these are the default applications that coming with the rom after flushing the rom right play store is over here so i will go to settings then i will go to about phone and uh, we'll tap the android 14. the android version is 14 pixel os android security update you can check it out we got the baseband version over here and the build number the latest build number for the galaxy s10e currently right thank you so much for watching the video like the video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye